Imagine being Adria and selling your socks online and trying to dunk them in taping the socks inside of my armpit. This story gets so embarrassing. Hello. Yeah, boys. You like my feet? Hi guys, what's up? What's going on? Why can I not do an intro right now? Hi guys, it's Adria. Welcome back. For today's video, I'm in a different spot. The lighting in my filming room was so weird. I'm in my kitchen filming right now and there's a lot of bugs that are dead on my windowsill. I also turned off my refrigerator just to film in this spot. So today I am going to be telling a little story time about when I sold my socks online. If you're, if you're gonna judge me for this, hey, it is what it is. If you are related to me, I'm sorry. If you are embarrassed for me, I'm sorry. I'm a woman, I apologize too much. No, this is not clickbait. Yes, I actually did 100% sell my socks to a stranger online. With that being said, let's just jump into this. A couple years ago, I made a video called like, a guy wants to buy my socks. In that video, I was very much opposed to the idea of of somebody asking me for my socks. <sighs> Ew, I actually felt like I made myself get <laughs> okay, okay. Also, I'm terrified of throwing up. Does anybody else have that fear? I know it's a thing, it exists. But anyway, I got this email from this guy back more than half a year ago. I had just moved cross country, so your girl was out a few hundred dollars. So I get this email from this guy wanting to buy my socks and he says in the email, I will give you $500 for your socks. In my mind, I am in this spot where I just spent a few hundred dollars to move across the country. I'm still getting on my feet. I'm a YouTuber and tax season's coming up, girl. I was... Interested. I think $500 to anybody at any given time sounds great, especially for something that isn't like nudity or anything like that and $500 for essentially nothing. Like I don't have to do anything besides mail this dude my socks. That sounds pretty great. Or at least it did. This story gets so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. So I responded and I never heard anything back. And so in my mind, I'm like, was this a joke? Was this just this guy trying to see if he could get me to reply? Was this secretly my mom? Was this God testing me like, hey, are you still coming to heaven or not? Like, what are you doing? I don't know what this was. Never heard from that guy again. That kind of sucked. I was like, mm. For about a week or so after I had replied, like, yeah, I'm, I'm interested. I got polka dots, I got stripes, I got pandas, I got four leaf clovers, like, what do you want? So for about a week before I realized he was never gonna reply, I'm in my mind thinking like, yes, girl, I'm about to get $500. This sounds so great. I don't, I don't have to do anything besides wear socks. When I realized this guy was not replying, I was like, oh, shh. I know that the money wasn't mine yet, but in my mind, it's like, this was money I was planning on having. It was kind of similar to when I had a sponsorship fall through and it makes you feel a lot poorer than you are. <laughs> I don't know why, but luckily, I think the sock gods were looking out for me that day because not too long after this, I got another email from a different guy. Do you sell your socks online? I think the subject was even like, socks? Como with socks? And can you imagine praying to God, like, can, can a man online please message me wanting to buy my socks and then that pops up in your email? Yeah, God had nothing to do with that. His hand was out of this. Of course, I was like, mm, I'm not even gonna get my hopes up this time. So I'm like, are these just anonymous people trying to make me look dumb? So the email was something like, hi, just wondering, have you ever sold your socks online? I'm interested. Um, he didn't mention a money amount, nothing like that. Okay, I'm gonna message him and say, look, I had a weird experience with this before. This guy messaged me and then never wanted to go through with it. If you are serious, I'm gonna need money up front to like prove that this is legit. And uh, he replied and he said, oh yeah, I totally get it. What's your PayPal? So I sent him my PayPal. And then not too long after this, there was, I wanna say there was like $50 in my PayPal without me even saying anything. There was $50 in my PayPal all of a sudden from this guy and I'm like, okay. He's serious then. Just show someone that you mean business. Because if you just send an email like, hey, I'll give you $500 for this, and then you don't reply, not really gonna work. <laughs> That's a good thumbnail. Also, I probably should have started out by saying I didn't do any of this without running it by Brandon first. And he's like, um, kind of weird, but I guess I don't really care. I don't 
want to shame anyone that has like a foot fetish, but to me, I just don't get it. It's about the equivalence of like a window being an attractive thing as long as you're, you know, obeying the law. That's your thing. <laughs> this story gets weird. He said something about how he wanted them dirty but not too dirty. I'm like, okay. Because of that email I got before, I think I'd feel better if you paid me like half up front and then you can give me the other half after you've received them. I think that that would be best. I didn't even say what that amount was. I guess in my mind I'm like, is there just this default amount that this sock market knows is acceptable? Like, does every guy just want to give you $500? I don't know. I don't know anything about the price of you socks. Is this illegal? <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a private sale, so I guess, you know, you can sell whatever you want. I could go knock on my neighbor's door and be like, do you want to buy this empty box of cereal? And they could say, sure. Um, they would not say sure. Half now, half when you get the socks. That was when the $50 appeared in my thing and then I'm like, oh, that's that's less than I was thinking. And I know $100 is still a lot for a pair of socks, but I think I just wanted just, just a little bit more than that. If I was going to do this, I wanted it to be worth my while somewhat. Cause I think we all have like a price that we would do something for and then a price where it's like, well, that's not really worth it. And I do draw the line at socks. So I said to him, I was actually hoping for about 200 for this, 200 or bust. And he said, okay, that's okay. I'll just have to pay you in four payments every time I get paid or whatever. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. He said, I wanted the socks dirty, not too dirty, white socks, kind of smelly, but not a punch in the face. Okay. This is a, a new thing. It's almost like when you get a project in school of something that you're just not familiar with at all and you're just like, uh, where's my partner? Can you help me? I've never done anything like this. I am a person. I wash my socks each time I wear them. I don't know how long it's going to take me to make a sock smell. I also find this whole venture so funny because I have some of the grossest feet ever in the entire world. Ingrown toenails and things like that. I've had surgery on my toenails. Very not cute feet. It's so funny when I get comments like, I bet she has cute feet and I'm just like, <laughs> no! Give me strength, Lord. By the way, I'm sorry, God. I never said sorry, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mother. I know my mother watches my video. I'm sorry, Nana. You're only young once, I guess. I get started with these socks. I find a pair of white socks. I'll wear them a bunch of days from now and then. I'm not gonna wear them like straight through, but. So at the time I had this small job where I was doing yard work. So I was outside in the heat, getting very sweaty. So I was like, okay, this is like perfect timing, right? So I can just wear these socks when I go to do this job. It'll do the thing. Okay, I shifted spots. The lightning is moving the sun. She's drifting. So I went to go do this outside yard work job and I soon began to realize that my feet just don't smell. This video is going to attract so many weird comments. Try to keep them to a minimum. So I started to panic when the socks weren't smelling because it was approaching the time I would have to mail them to this guy. There was no smell whatsoever. They looked dirty, but they just didn't have a smell to them. And it's weird because I'm a pretty sweaty person in general. I'll put on a shirt, do my makeup, and then have to put on a different shirt because it's already soaked in piss sweat. So I'm so cute. I even debated like taping the socks inside of my armpits to get some sweat on them. I don't know how to make them sweaty. I, I went to the gym. I was doing yard work. It was hot out. I will do something dumb and I will think about it for the next five years straight. I thought, hey, maybe I could simulate a bad foot smell with some help. I'm so smart. I'm so brilliant. Hey, why don't I put the socks in milk? So I take these dirty socks, put them in a little Ziploc bag, and I take some milk and I pour a tiny bit in there, not even a sip. This should make them just a little stinky. Zip up the bag, kind of toss it in my sister's room. So at the time I was staying in my sister's room. 
Allie, I'm so sorry. You did not serve our country for this. Imagine going off to serve your country and your sister is just back in your room with milk covered dirty socks. That's fine. I went about my life. I kind of forgot about the socks and they were in like a pile of dirty clothes. Pretty sure I hid them on purpose so that nobody saw socks in a Ziploc baggie. Didn't want them to think I was more of a freak than I am. So it was like maybe two days later. I don't know why I forgot about these socks so fast. I think they were just hidden and I just completely forgot that I had put spoiled milk in the room. Of course I forgot about it. Why wouldn't I? There was this faint little gross smell. I didn't know what it was. It was like her tarantula terrarium. Like, I don't know what's going on in here, honestly. So then one day my mom comes in and is like, uh, it reeks in here. It's been about two, three days maybe. Oh! It was so hot in this room. We keep all the cold-blooded reptiles in there. So I then had to tell her, um, yeah, I'm selling these socks online and they are doused in milk that has now gone bad. How was your day at work? So my mom was very confused. So I found the bag, opened it up, and this rotten, I was about to say rotten eggs. I don't know how milk turned into rotten eggs. This rotten milk smell just hit me right in the face. I screwed this up. I can't mail this to somebody with a good conscience. Imagine someone gives you $200 for something and you've poured milk on it and you send it through the mail where it will then get more hot in transit. This was just bad. This was so bad. I take them, I throw them in the wash. I'm pretty sure I had to wash them twice. Wow, is all I can say. I don't know why I did something like that. Hey Alexa, play Wow by Post Malone. Wow, by Post Malone on Amazon Music. Wash the socks. They still were stained, they still look dirty. I wore them for a few days doing the yard work again, going to the gym. They don't stink that bad, but it's gonna have to do. I never told this guy that I had attempted to stink the socks in milk. Didn't seem like a good idea to tell someone that just gave me money. We live and we learn. I, I bet that guy would find that hilarious. At least I would hope. I, I sent him clean dirty socks. I sent him dirty socks, but dirty from me, not from milk. I don't even drink milk. <laughs> so imagine being that cow that what? squirted out that milk for me to do that. What? You know, not my proudest moment. If I ever had a child and they found out about this, I wouldn't know how to explain this. I hope that guy never sees this. Would I sell my socks online again for the right price? I would. Hit me up. I'll I'll do it. That's my story for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't. I post new videos all the time. I have a story coming up soon how I tried to become a model. Look forward to that. I wanna give a huge shout out today to Katrina from Texas who said hi to my Nana. You made my Nana feel so special and famous and it was the cutest thing ever. I am gonna attempt to get my life together slowly so I don't have to sell socks. Here's a playlist for more videos from me. Binge watching my videos helps my channel a lot, so feel free to help the cause. I will see you guys again real soon. Until then, panda hugs, love you guys.